Let's take a few minutes to truly master what is called the tie-off menu of the FOF machine. So what we have here is under F2. When you touch F2, you're gonna have three options. And once you turn this on, this will actually add tie-off stitches at the beginning, the end, and or a scissor button or a cut at the very end of a stitch. So by highlighting the choices you want, you can touch OK and notice the box darkens. Uh, let's go ahead and just add them all so you can really see what you're capable of doing here. And I'm going to just touch F2 so that kind of disappears. You'll so notice on screen that you see those tie-off locking features and the scissors. So here's how it's actually going to work. If I'm just on a straight stitch, in Instead of it going um, all in one hole, it actually takes a couple stitches forward, back, forward, back, and then starts the, the stitching. Now, as soon as I want it to finish the tie-off feature, you're going to touch the reverse button, and it will finish with those back, forth, back and forth stitches. And there's the automatic cut, because we told it to, and that's how super nice it starts and ends. So let's do something, let's just do 64. So notice as we go from stitch to stitch, those features stay engaged. So as I start, I'm gonna get locking stitches, but this time it's gonna be all in the same hole and not forward and back like it is on a straight stitch. When I wanna end it, touch the reverse button. I will lock and because we told it to cut, it will be there. Now one thing else, oh how perfect. <laughs> one thing else that I do like about that feature is that if you turn the machine off, and you turn it back on, that that is a remembered function. So if you've turned it on, when you see it back on your screen, so once you add it, I have a feeling that a lot of people will truly appreciate having it. Just remember you have to touch the reverse button one time to activate the locking stitch, which will also equal the cut. Now again, you don't have to have all those features on if you don't want it to cut. We could just make that not an option but still have it be a tie-off feature. But why not? Most of the time you need to take it out of the machine and cut the thread because remember if it cuts it, it also lifts the presser foot.